they are trying so hard to find a witness who would place a lie of false accusations towards you. Brothers and sisters, there are people in this life, there are people around you in your life who are trying so hard to find a fault in you so that they can lie against you, so that they can uh, uh, manipulate you, uh, so that they can put up false statements around you. So be very careful who you surround yourself with, who are the people you have chosen to be around. Be very careful what you speak. Be very careful how you conduct yourself among people because there are people who are listening to every conversation that you make. You may think that you are all by yourself, but that is not it, sister. That is not it, brother. There are people who have made it their job to fight against you. They do not want you to have peace. They don't want you to have uh, uh, the world that you desire. They don't want you to progress in life. There are people, even at your workplace, who are trying as much as possible to put you down, to give a bad report about you, to say things that you did not do. I'm not saying that you are all perfect. I'm not saying that you, are, you do not have faults. Yes, everyone has faults, but there are people in this life, even the good that you do, they will try as much as possible to make it appear as though it is bad. Even when you have spoken good, even when you have done a, a good work, they will try to tarnish you. So my brothers and sisters, be very careful. Today's word is from the book of Matthew chapter 26, verse 57 to 64. Matthew chapter 26, verse 57 to 64. 64 and it reads then the people who had arrested jesus led him to the home of cephas the high priest where the teachers of religious law and the elders gathered meanwhile peter followed him at a distance and came to the high priest's courtyard he went in and sat with the guards and waited to see how it would all end inside the leading priests and the entire high council were trying to find witnesses who would lie about Jesus so they could put him to death. But even though they found many who agreed to give false witnesses, they could not use anyone's testimony. Finally, two men came forward who declared, this man said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and rebuild it in three days. Then the high priest stood up and said to Jesus, Well, aren't you going to answer these charges? What do you have to say for yourself? But Jesus remained silent. Then the high priest said to him, I demand in the name of the living God, tell us if you are the Messiah, Messiah the Son of God. Jesus replied, you have said it, and in the future you will see the Son of Man seated in the place of power at God's right hand and coming on the clouds of heaven. Glory to God. This is a very powerful statement. That these people, the scripture says in, the, in verse 57, that when the people who had arrested Jesus came and led him to the home of Cephas, the high priest, where the teachers of the religious law and the elders gathered. They had arrested Jesus and they led him to the high priest. Some of you, there are people who have arrested you or they have arrested people who you care about. And the reason as to why they have arrested them is doing good. <laughs> it is amazing that Jesus was arrested for doing good. He did not sin. He did not do something bad. He did something that was good and they, they, they kind of tried to forge a way to, to, to make it appear as though he had done something that is bad. Some of you have done what is good, but the enemy has tried to make it appear as though you are the one in the wrong, as though you have done something. They have caught you for doing something that is you have not, you have not yet done. Now, the scripture says, meanwhile, 
Peter followed him at a distance and came to the high priest's courtyard. He went in and sat with the guards and waited to see how it would all end. There are some people right now who are following you at a distance. They are waiting to see how it will all end. They have watched you do things. They have been with you. Some of them actually could be used by the enemy. It is at the moment the enemy is using them. This was like Peter. Peter was, was a man who followed Jesus. But at this moment, the enemy was using him. So there are some people who are being used by the enemy to track you. They have waited a close distance to see what will become of you. What will be the end of you. They are following you. Now, the scripture says that inside the leading priests and the entire high court council were trying to find witnesses who would lie about Jesus so they could put him to death. This is today's message. That they are trying to find a witness to lie against you so that they can destroy your reputation. They can destroy your work. They can destroy your marriage. They can destroy what you have built. There are people who are trying, who are working hard to see that you are destroyed. They are gathering out witnesses. Now listen to what the scripture says. The scripture says in 60 that, but even though they found, even though they found many who had agreed to give false witness, they could not use anyone's testimony. May this be your testimony that even if they have found many who can say false statements against you, they cannot use it as a testimony. Just as for Jesus, they could not use anyone's testimony. All the false witnesses they had gathered up, they could not use their testimonies because it was all deception. It was all lies. Brothers and sisters, do not be uh, taken up. Do not be worried when a false accusations and statements have come up against you. Know that Jesus, the Son of God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, went through this. Even at the point of death, they could not find a witness. They could not find, I mean, a testimony. They could not find evidence that he committed a crime. They could not find evidence of his blasphemy. Brothers and sisters, God is with you. God loves you so much. Jesus is Lord of everything. And he knows what you are going through. Well, I have come to the end of this message. And you can leave your comments in the comment section. You can uh, send me your messages through my email address, through my um, Facebook page. And you can send your prayer requests and I will pray for you. And also, if you want to be a blessing to this ministry through your giving, you can do so through my PayPal account. And it's in the link in the description. And God will bless you. Until next time, God bless you.